You need to know the difference between scalar and vector quantities, but loads of you are finding this confusing. So I've made you some flashcards, I'm going to talk you through the definitions, I'm going to give you some examples, and then there's going to be a little quiz at the end. A scalar quantity is something that has a number only. So just a number on there, no direction. A vector is a number that has both size and direction. The one that is telling you where it is going and how fast it is going. Now here are some examples for you. Energy is scalar. Power is scalar. Time is scalar. Speed is scalar. Distance is scalar. Momentum is a vector. Weight is a vector. Force is a vector. Acceleration is a vector. Velocity is a vector. Displacement is a vector. So, you need to know your units for all of those things and an easy way if you're not sure is just picking out the units but here is my little quiz you need to be able to get all of these right are they vector or are they scalar 11 meters west this is vector because we have a number and we have a direction plus 54 newtons this has a direction and is a force so it is a vector four miles this is only a number doesn't tell us the direction so it is scalar Minus 19 meters per second. This is a velocity, not a speed, because the minus in there gives us the direction. 72 miles per hour to the north. That is a vector, because it is giving us the speed, or the velocity, and direction. 89 kilometers per hour. That is a scalar quantity, that is just a speed. It tells us nothing about the direction. 91 miles per hour, going way too fast, but again, that is a speed, that is a scalar quantity. 43 miles northeast, this is a vector, because it has a number and it has a direction on there. 17 kilometers, this is scalar, because it is just a distance, doesn't tell us in which direction distance is going. Four hours. Time, this is scalar. It does not give us any um, direction to go with that time. 11 meters right. This is vector because it has direction and it has a size on there. And 17 meters per second squared. This is acceleration, so it is going to be a vector. Um, not actually that tricky, but I know some of you are finding, especially the terminology, quite tricky. So, there you go guys, difference between vector and scalar. You need it for physics and you need it for maths.